Hey guys, it's Paul. I'm going to do a really quick um, Happy Me Philosophy. I'm not sure what it's, episode 8? Episode 9? I think it's 8. Um, I really need it because I, I want to tell you about, I don't know what I'm going to call this one. I'm just, I think I'm just going to call it Get Off Your Arse. Um, I wanted to talk about people who you get knockbacks and you don't get back up quick enough and you don't fire again and you don't you know, you, you let it get you down for too long. You let it get down for, for two or three days or a week or you, or you do you let it get you down to a point that you quit. And I think, like, if you think about anybody who does something, everybody has that pain, but it's the speed that you get off your arse and get going again that's the quickest thing. You know, if I talk about... I won't do it. I'll do a golf analogy in a minute. Um, if you talk about um, people who go to the gym... Like these top trainers, these top fitness people, they get tired too. They get tired just as fast as you. But they're going at a different pace. They're going at under a mile an hour. You might be going at 60 when you first start. But they get tired, but they recover quicker. They recover quicker and go again. So you might go to the gym one day and still be struggling three days later. They go to the gym, know that it's, you know, whatever they do the next day, they just they just regroup and go again. Same with golf. Uh, obviously, I always do golf analogies, but the great players hit bad shots, but they just recover from them faster. I mean, Tiger Woods famously had like a 12-step policy where if he hit a bad shot, I think, well, I actually think if he hit a good shot, within 12 steps of walking away from that from that shot, he reset and went, right, I'm on to the next shot, no matter what happened. And that why that's why he was so good that he could... He could um, he could just turn his mind to next stop, next shot, next thing. What do I need to do next? What do I need to do next? And that's, that's how these videos happen. It's how you get to 500 videos. It's how you get to your whatever you want to do is to just keep going. If something knocks you back, if you get a crappy comment on YouTube or you get a um, you get well, you get a wall of silence is sometimes just as bad. Um, it's the speed that you get up and go again. It's you get up, you get up and you don't feel great. You don't feel like, I get up most days and don't feel like I can be arsed. Luckily, after two coffees, I'm I'm going again. You know, I'm not a morning person. I'm not somebody who dives out of bed and says, let's do this. But, you know, I'm thinking, I can sit in this room with laundry and, you know, whatever I've got here. And I can sit on my own some days and think, well, wouldn't it be great to work in a team or go back to an office and get back out there and, you know, work with other people, and I'm like, well, yeah, but it, I'm, I don't want another boss. I don't want to. I don't want the boss to be telling me what to do every day. I don't want to be living off a nine to five. I don't want to be living off other people's time or other people's um, rules. I want to make my own rules up. So to do that, I have to keep grinding. I have to keep going, and so it's. I mean, partly up for me philosophy being. This one over here is is just be the best you. Reset to being the best you. Um, being able to just go right. That's gone. What do I need to do next? What do I need to do next? What am I? What's what's you know going to benefit me the most? Or what in my business do I need to do that is uh, of the most benefit? Rather than doing all these little finicky fun things that don't give your business any any benefit that you know. I mean, I know when I'm doing prat about work when I'm. When I'm sapping time, I'm just going. Oh well, I'll, I'll create this, and I'll I'll re oh I'll re I'm good at renaming stuff. For me, I'll just create another platform and say, oh hey everybody, I've changed the name of it, and it's prat about work. Instead of finding out what you need to do next, instead of you know, um, instead of looking at your business and saying, where do I get the most profit from my business? Let's concentrate on that. What do we need to do on that? People start. They like to look busy, don't they, people? They like to look like they're shuffling paper around instead of going, where's the hard thing that I need to do, <clears throat> that I need to dive into? And obviously for my business, it's creating great content, creating great videos, creating training. Obviously, I do a lot of Zoho training, which is the most beneficial part of my business. But I want to do this as a, a side thing as well on the app and me philosophy. So it's, it's, it's a get off your ass video. But it's not, you know, come on. They're like, just go again. If you've been knocked down, if you've been knocked back, whatever you've been hit with, just go again. Just stand up and say, right, I'm going to I'm gonna work out what I need to do next. I'm going to work out what's the next plan. I'm not going to let that, I'm not going to dwell on, don't dwell on stuff you rubbish at. Don't dwell on things that didn't work. Just dwell on the next thing to do. 
the next thing you need to get on with. Um, and go for it. Just decide. You've got to decide what you want to happen. What you know, really, what you want, and just keep going. Don't quit. Never quit. Uh, if that's what you want, just keep going towards it. So, happy me philosophy episode uh, eight. You know, reset. Be the best you, and just go again. Go again, like everybody does. All right. See you later. <laughs>